I was cleaning up some old video files and I came across this one from 2009. My daughter was only four and a half years old when I took her to Grandfather Trout Farm near Boone, North Carolina. I brought along an old mini DV camera to video her catching her first fish. The resolution isn't that great and the sound is so horrible that I had to use captions so you'll know what my daughter is saying. But as you will see, none of that really matters. Before heading to the mountains, I took her to a fishing store so she could pick out her own rod. I don't remember the brand, but it was a Transformers rod, and she was very excited to go home with it, then pack it for a big day. Keep reeling. Hold on. Don't let go of that. Keep reeling. Stand up. Stand up. Reel. Okay. Hold, hold it. Keep reeling. Hold tight. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. No, you're doing great. Okay, hold it, hold it. Don't let go. Hold it. Yeah. Hey, Trini! You caught your first fish. Come see. Wow. Let me get the hook out. Hold on. Trini, yay! I think that the most underrated lesson that fishing teaches many kids for the first time is that if you're going to eat meat, an animal must die, and usually a person is doing the killing. It is not immoral to kill animals, neither is it immoral to treat animals as equals and never eat meat or use animal products of any kind. And seeing a person kill an animal in front of you is the only honest way to choose which of those philosophies to follow. The only immoral position is held by those who eat meat yet look down on hunters or pig farmers or ranchers for what they do to put food on their table. I am. Show the, show the video camera, sweetheart. Whoa! <laughs> Bobby, and the bucket he goes. Yeah. Was that fun, Trini? Yes. That was for fish and... Whoa, 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 stop, stop, stop. Hey, now I need to put a new hook on it. Okay, I'm gonna stop this camera, this video. So I can watch the video. Sharing times in the outdoors brings out a side of a daughter's relationship with her father that video games and computers just can't. Though you can't see it from this camera angle, you know there is a huge smile on my face right now. Even a trout farm can have a hard time keeping the attention of a four-year-old, but it's the best chance to make a great first impression about fishing. My daughter will have a lifetime to learn patience. Right now, I want her to learn how fun it is to fish. Got one. Trini, got one. Yeah! Hey, go in. Hold it. Do you want to hold it? Is that fun? 
No, you don't want to touch the eyeball. Here's when I got a look at how big this trout actually is. And I was really worried that it was going to pull the rod and my daughter into the water. Yes! Yes, Jenny! Look how big! Jenny! Look how big! That's a monster! Look at that! Though I didn't video it, my daughter was there watching every step of the processing of these trout. From gaffing them with a mallet, to bleeding them, to gutting them, to cutting them into fillets and packing them on ice. She had lots of questions and I gave her honest answers. And in just a few hours, that four and a half year old girl learned more about where her food comes from than many adults can appreciate in our modern times. This year, she finally asked if she could go hunting with me. And you can bet the cameras will be along for that too.